Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's up, people? I'm back in the building today. As you can see, you know, I'm uh, here in a video. We're under the weather, so i going to break out the European glasses today, the Rocco Barocco. So, you guys haven't seen in a while, so let's go in. Today we'll talk about something that, you know, to me is getting to be a little stupid already, but some of you guys want to talk about it. We'll talk about uh, this reparations talk by African Americans. Look, my, my, my thing is give it up. Give up reparations talk. If you look at the world, if you look at the United States realistically, you're not getting your 40 acres in a meal. Obama, when he was in office, he didn't give you your 40 acres in a meal, and he's black and he's a Democrat. So what makes you think that this country is going, you imagine, you imagine how much money that would that would be? You imagine how much of these corporations would have to give a cut of their to, to black folks? You think you're going to do that? So then all this reparations talk is foolish and nonsense. Because you know why? I, I, I admit we have built this country, but it's not going to happen. I'm looking at this realistically. You guys are looking at this as, you know, cornball stuff happening. Reparations is not going to happen. I mean, yes, what happened to us was a tragic, tragic, tragic sin. But at the same time, if our leaders, you're going to talk about reparations in 2015 and act like you're doing something, it ain't going to happen. What you need to focus on, you need to focus on the aspects of the black community to get us more into education, to get us more into community, to get us more to be more upstanding citizens of our community first. You want to give people, you want to give people who mismanage money more money to this man. Where do you think this reparations money is going to go? Ask yourself that before you, you smart ones out there. You know, you're already crying out where our money goes to begin with. You give these folks reparations money, are they going to go spend the money in the hood? Are they going to go spend it in other like businesses? No, they're not. They're going to go to the thing. What's going to happen is Macy's is going to have a sale. All of a sudden, they're going to be a bunch of sales and they're going to sucker in a bunch of black folks. They're going to lose their money. Then it comes the next, the next uh, wine and dance. Do something else. We personally, yeah, we were owed reparations, but at the same time, I'm past that. I've been past that for decades. I look at it as America's not going to do it for you. There, there's, there's, there's people who are innocent. Let me give you a little scoop. Like, there's people who are innocent in prison. When they come out of prison, they can sue the state. Depending on what state it is, they can sue. But it's capped off. See what I'm trying to say? Life's not fair with that regard. To me, if, if, if I'm innocent, I went to prison for X amount of years, you should sue the pants off for these motherfuckers. But you can't. It's capped off. And if you think they're going to give you and I... Well, they can give me money because they know I ain't gonna. I won't put it towards a business and like help generate more income for more people to work and I think. But the majority of us are fiscally irresponsible. We're, we're fiscally liberal. How's that? We're not fiscally conservative. Our our thinking and our policies are conservative. We're fiscally we're liberal and we're we spend and spend and spend. Look, go to go to Facebook. Don't believe. Don't don't take my word. Go to Facebook. Look, 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 you, you got a culture that thinks because they wear, a, wear a, a plastic chain with gold paint that says boss that they're a boss. End the story on that one, folks. You have people who, look, look, look at some of the solutions you got on Facebook. I, I feel sorry for the future because these are the so-called geniuses that we've been coming up with. There's a lot of smart young adults, but they don't pay attention to that. They pay attention to look, 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 you got people on Facebook who are models who do it for for money. I understand that principle. 
But then you got the people who do it because they say, well, I feel good. And once you feel good getting off of government assistance and making some money, make that a hard, make it a job for you. You got people who got the internet at their hands and refuse to use it, so you're going to give them more money for, for what? Once you teach people to be upstanding members of their own community, and then teach them how to use the business aspect in their community. But as for rest, 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 reparations, give that up. That's a no-go. That's, 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 a, that's a dead horse. And you guys are beating it and beating it, and, and no amount of protest is going to get reparations from any of us. So. Hopefully everybody will wake up and realize this is the real world and it is what it is. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.